How late at night is it? Too late. I'm basically only going to get one episode recorded before I have to turn in, but I figured I might as well do get a little bit of warming up in it before tomorrow, or the next time I record. I might record t tomorrow, I might not. Anyhow, greetings and salutations everyone. Hi Mac Mac, this is Let's Play Oxygen Not Included. I have no idea what I did last episode, which is why I'm doing this sort of stuff now. It's all pretty simple to me, really. I have a lot of things that need to be done. I need to work on, um... Well, sooner or later I'm going to have to extend this plumbing down to this system here. I need to work on extending uh, the oil just a bit more because we have, well... Hmm... The thing is, lead and cobalt can't handle this area. We need something stronger. We need to either refine something like iron, or we need to import some steel. Hmm. I'd also need to do a bit of hollowing out there so we can increase the range for this crude oil, but yeah. So I have been doing quite a bit of editing since the last I played, and unfortunately I found out a problem. I accidentally recorded episode 31 as a... Um... Episode of... 31, what I record, I didn't record actual oxygen not included, I recorded Audacity recording that episode, which is highly unfortunate. I think what has to happen there is I'm going to use pictures of the base taken around this time. Yeah taken around this space so I can show what I'm talking about because I feel like I did have enough interesting things to discuss in that episode but thankfully I also didn't have so much that I'm going to work myself ragged catching up you're about to pass away and then he gets free Yeah, something that I will need to do though is <laughs> I need to install a steam turbine setup around here because the way this is going to work is we pump in super hot to uh, normal water into these electrolyzers. The electrolyzers will only run when the when the pressure sensor tells it that it's at low enough pressure for such. There's going to be a pressure sensor here, and that's what runs these pumps. When it detects there's enough pressure around, then it starts pumping in here. This is supposed to be oxygen only, but every now and then you can get a buildup of hydrogen that causes it to start hitting down these pipes, but it's not the end of the world. Up here, we absolutely can never allow anything other than uh, hydrogen to go in here, otherwise it's going to start breaking things. Fortunately, the, the design means that it should be set up that way to start with, you just have to make sure you fill up all this area with hydrogen. Including this up here. See, this area is all... The, these two hydrogen generators are going to naturally build up heat over time. The hydrogen helps them exchange heat with the what's below them, it help build it into the oxygen being pumped in, and therefore, strangely enough, carry all the heat out of the system. It passes through here, and these pipes are going to be part of the cooling system, so that the actual oxygen we get out is actually going to be very cold. I've got no way of tuning that out. Too bad. 
These pipes will also be run by the uh, steam turbine itself because steam turbines will eventually heat up as they work. And when the pipes are too hot, gets run through here and the thermal aqua tuner kicks in. It, the sensor tells it that right the water is hot enough that it's safe to cool down. The Herm Thermo Argotuna and all this oil here is going to bank up the heat. We have a second set of pipes here, which will take all that heat and transfer it inside the steam turbine, heating up the water that the steam turbine runs on. And the steam turbine will cool it down, because that's what they do. They generate heat deletion. I'm sure that'll all be a lot easier to understand once I actually get all that built. I have to wonder if these are all really necessary to be dug up. I'm not entirely sure. Ah, uh, we've got hydrogen over here. It's not good for this bliss burst. Well, we know that oxygen keeps getting piped into the system. Oh yeah, the lack of insulation here really messed up some of the bog buckets here. Yeah, I think it would be better to just ship some extra metals over. What metals do we have a lot of? I wouldn't like shipping over steel. Let's ship over iron. Remember when we had to worry about not getting carnivore? Yeah, I remember when that was a thing. Right now, the bigger danger is that our hatches are all going to starve to death. There's plenty of sedimentary rock around here, it's just all buried under slime lung.
Hmm. That will eventually become a bit of an issue with all the heat from the steam vent leaking out into the rest of the world. I could go for an airtight airlock, but people actually need to use that thing. I think I'll just put that under a to-do later. Now here's a thing I could probably work on. I'll leave it so it has more iron there, I guess. Nisbet could probably do with the exosuit training, actually. That'll be where we put her into next. See, the polluted ice eventually reach the temperature that it turns everything into solid. Okay, so it counts two tiles up, four tiles. I'm going to set these to low priority so people don't lock themselves in. Three high. And then you install a steam turbine on top of that. I am actually going to have to refine a lot of con superconductive metals for this. On the upside, we don't have that far to go for pumping the hot water about, so it'll have less time to overheat the base. So I've been re-watching Comic Foil's old Let's Play of Freedom Planet and I can say this much, I'm very glad that I haven't played that game because it, it looks a bit unforgiving is one way to put it. Like the, his third run of the story, his Mila run, it looks 
The game does not look designed for such a play style and it's kind of unfortunate. But I suppose at some point they just had to cut their losses and ship with the product they had. Oh dear, that is very cold hydrogen. Yeah, let's just wait until it's got a full 1,000 iron before we ship it through. You can't always have exact numbers in this game, but you might as well have it when you have the chance. I should also point out, even though that this ladder is made out of plastic, it looks like you could destroy it to get access to the very precious material. This is considered a Gravitas building. You can't deconstruct for materials, you can only demolish. Unfortunate, but that's how it is. I was about to say, maybe I should ship over some Cobalt, but then I remembered, Cobalt doesn't have the increased overheat temperature threshold. Alright, is someone coming over to rub this plant? Yes he did, and now it's a grub fruit plant. I'm glad I caught that on camera. Okay, why is it that we have 18 tons of sedimentary... Hmm. Yeah, we've got plenty of sedimentary rock here. How come no one ever stores it? Okay, we need someone focused on storing, that would be Lindsay. I guess it's time that we increased the... Uh, 
Actually, maybe it's simply that you aren't getting to each uh, job in time. Where do I want to put my coal generator when I'm finally ready for it? Over here, perhaps? We need to at least come up with a place to store all the chlorine before I properly empty out this area entirely. Hmm. We've got meat that needs delivery. You know, I've got all sorts of odd jobs for the game right now. Are you making any progress on the star map? Alright, so here's the thing that I probably should have mentioned. Most space is empty. It's just empty space. Any of these question marks? There's two things they could be. They might be another planetoid. Or they might be something called a point of interest. A point of interest, you can send a rocket to them, and provided they have the... Um, Okay, so the two things they can do. If they have an artifact transport module installed, they'll retrieve a renewable artifact and bring it back to the base. The first time will always be a rare uh, item that can't be found anywhere else, and it'll have a high drop rate for, um, where is it? The Artifact Analysis Station. It'll be something unique which is uh, towards one of the victory conditions. Cosmic Archaeology. A unique space artifact. But every time after you go back there, they eventually grow back. It's weird for, it to, for me to say it, but they are renewable. It just takes time. But it's always the um, Gravitas Coffee Cup. Which have a low, ch which have the pretty low chance of dropping a neural vasilitary charge, but still, it is a thing that you can do. You can try and uh, get all five of the rare buffs on all your duplicates if you have the time you want to sink into it. Oh, hello, printables. I think Stinklin actually needs the food. Ooh, I didn't look at any of the duplicates. Maybe I should have. You can't be sure when we're going to acquire something rare. Hmm. Is the shipping ready? No. Well, at least they aren't starving anymore. I want a loner that has a digging uh, that has the ability to dig and build, and I want a reason. I want a duplicant that doesn't care about toilet germs. Although apparently there is, a, I've never actually used the. Uh, where is it? It must be somewhere in research.
this wall toilet. I've never actually used it. The intent it is intended to be used in the compactor of rocketry. It's just that I always thought, well, if I don't get the polluted water back, then I'm losing resources. But let's be fair. Do I really need the extra 11 kilograms of polluted water? Sure things will get done sooner or later. Ah, uh, someone left a pufflet prince egg. Eventually we'll swing back to having our uh, rare puff breeds. And yeah, actually we do want to finish sealing off this area with insulated tiles. I never have gotten to the point where I can uh, properly utilize volcanoes. I'll have to change that this in Let's Play. I think we might just see more eggs out of these two before the die of old age. Hmm. Do we... we have dirt. I guess we just don't have enough people doing jobs. Whoever would have thought that the day would come where 12 people isn't enough. Yep, you get to work digging up the rest of the iron. And okay, I guess it's time for sleep for me too. Until next time guys, take care. We'll see you all around. <laughs>